So mainly we just want to make it a more defined ditch line. That's that's a low spot. This is a low spot, so there's a right hump there. there we need to take. Yeah, so just okay. get a straight grade through there when you get the bridge, just hop around the other side and we'll pick up the slope to the corner. Okay. And then here's where we keep it keep that center drain line away from there. Oh, we want to move the ditch over to here. If we can, yes. We got a good bit of fall from the corner to here, but I don't know that we have, I think we're going to dig the corner down. Yes, I think so. I suppose we could, I mean, it's more work, but we could move this ditch out a little bit and avoid those roots. That'd be great. It'd be fine. We'll just take whatever dirt we get and put it back over or wherever it can go. But yeah, we can swing it wider. I think we'll start with the laser, make sure where we are. That's fine. And then once we get that and understand what we need to do, I'll use the tiller and just till right where we think the ditch is going to be. Define it. Fine. And then we can take the loader bucket and get, you know, get some of that dirt out and move it wherever we need to move it. Okay. And then we'll finish with the power rate. Okay. Let's get started. When possible, I really like to start a project like this with the tiller. I find it's a lot easier to move and manage all of the soil if it's already loose and been tilled. It's also easier to deal with the sod if it's been chopped up a few times. Now when we had talked about this project before I showed up on site, I didn't think there was going to be much dirt to move. But as we analyzed it, situation and saw that the tree roots were probably going to be a challenge for us, we decided to move the ditch several feet away from the tree, hoping maybe we would encounter smaller roots and, well, not risk damage to the trees themselves. Some of you who don't have as good a soil as we have here in Indiana probably don't have the luxury of using a tiller like this. Sorry about that. As you can see with these roots, a tiller is not incredibly tolerant of big rocks or roots. It doesn't require perfect conditions, but it can't handle horrible conditions either. These roots are going to be a real challenge for us, I'm afraid. I'm glad we decided to swing that ditch out a little bit wider. Excellent route, and I think I don't think we need any water in that. Didn't get too many roots going that route, did you? Yeah, got a lot of roots. That's so, going to be a problem. Well, but we're further from the tree than we would have been otherwise, so yeah. they should be a little smaller. I think I'm going to take the tooth bar off. Uh, given that this is already loose, I think the the flat edge bucket may be the easiest way I to handle agree. this. Yeah. I was afraid I didn't have room on the tree side of this ditch or I would have back dragged the entire part. It would just be so much easier to use a back drag motion than pushing forward. But the space just didn't allow it, especially around the corner where we have the level set up. Having said that, this approach worked really well and went really quickly. Probably three or four minutes for the whole distance and I had all of that loose dirt moved over to the side. As we've said many times before, there's a bunch of ways to do a project like this. Rear blades, box blades, more approaches than I can even think of. But this approach is simple and it works quickly. Can you get that big rock? Now around the corner up here, we've got to lower the elevation a lot more. So I'll just repeat the process. I'll till again, and then I'll use the bucket and move some more soil. Do you want to start trying to spiff some of this up with Vinny, you think? There's not much uh, aggressive put into Vinny, but some of this stuff that I piled up here on the side, just getting it kind of, you know, beginning to make it level and look look better. Yeah. I didn't well, give I you a very good description. Do you want more out of it? Well, I think I'll take care of pushing more out of it. Okay. You take care, if you can, of, of leveling, not leveling, but grading. Parts that I've thrown over there to the to the left, okay. and 
and like even up here to the right, you know, I'm gonna it's gonna have to be graded too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I'll I'll till another time or two and keep pushing it in here. Okay. But then, you know, I don't know. And you can just you can see what you think. If you don't like what's going on, just stop. But you know what I mean. Okay. Is it all hooked up? The belts on and everything. It's ready to go, I believe. Okay. Now this entire process could be done with the tiller and the loader bucket. We've done it several times like that. But I must admit that the power rake makes the job much easier, faster, and at the end it probably looks a little bit better. If using only the tiller, we would have ran it right along there where Christy is running now, and it just would have helped with the leveling, uh, just not quite as quickly or as smoothly as what the power rake does it. Now on the left here, I'm actually pulling up a couple of those roots. We just had to have them out of the way. And as you watch this, you can kind of see the swale begin to come together. You can see that ditch begin to move outward and, well, I think we're making good progress. You can run into and over those roots. Okay. You'll have to, I can't. So you'll have to try to waller them down or else we have to saw them. And you can get right down in here in what's gonna be the trench and pull it up out of there. The power rake's not only tolerant of roots and rocks, it also helps you to deal with them easier. In this case, you're gonna see Christy run right up there and just get that root dug right out of there without any issue at all. Don't you think it needs to be more aggressive? Well, you that's up to you, I think. Just a little, at least. Oh, you knocked him out. Chuck's already got him. Well, he's almost got him picked up. Yeah. I think we're a little high here yet. And I do think you run at an angle, you can. You ought to be able to get to where you can slope in there. Yeah, that's what I, I've been changing the angle. Yeah. You've been doing good. I've been watching. I feel good being able to tear out this size. Yeah. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? kind of pleasing to see this come together like it is. The swale is looking really nice and we've moved it away from the trees just a little bit. Overall I really like how it's looking at this point. Now one challenge we've got to a really nice finished look is all this sod. In some ways I wish I'd have tilled it another time or two to see if I could have got some of that sod chopped up a little more but we should be able to get it pretty good. Christy's doing some fine tuning here on the elevation. We decided we needed a little bit more fall right up there by the bridge. I don't mind putting a little more grass in, but see, you're cooking a half inch off of there, see it? But I'll put a little more if you want to see a little more. Just to be safe. From there to here, take out this one pass just to make sure I don't want to get caught in that corner right there by elevate, but it says okay, but it looks okay to me there. I'm more concerned about the top end of the corner up there 
But you say there's good fall there, so. Yeah, there's fall all the way down through there. You still want to do a little bit up there if we can we'll go up there and we'll till a little bit and we just want to we just want to make a the swale a little more uh, yeah, not defined as, not as deep as this for sure just more okay. just more defined okay that sounds good now if you look close right here in the middle of the scene right in the middle of the tiller you'll see my sunglasses there they are i tilled right over them then I ran over them with the tractor and found them on the next pass, and they're in perfect condition. Hey, that might not be true landscape procedure, but I think tomorrow we'll just rake that and sew right on it because it's soft, you know, yeah, take so root. I think so. it's good enough, it's soft enough, we can rake it ourselves and then seed it. Yeah, I think you're right. I was going to say that to the camera if, because uh, when I see it, I was seeing the same thing. Uh, we're not trying to do near as much grading here, right? So the power rake might not have been required. We've got that tilled really soft. Yeah, I and agree. It'll be easy to rake, easy to shovel. Yes. We'll have to rake some back, uh, I guess would help the back drag. There's a, there, here's that low spot, but we can kind of rake that, I think. Yeah, I, I mean. Be better, if we get the bucket in there, we'll probably tear I it I can't do anything with the bucket. I could run over it one time with a power rake, I guess. Might pack it down yeah. where you can't rake it. i just leave it good. Okay. Job well done again. That was easy. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm a little nervous about the swale on the other end, uh, whether we have that perfect. I tell you what, we have a lot of trouble with drainage here in central Indiana. It's so flat. We don't have much space to work with, so we don't get a lot of slope. Yeah. And uh, but you know, if it doesn't work for us, we'll revisit it. Sounds good to me. Lifetime guarantee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Both Chuck and I had heart issues this year, so yeah. you know, lifetime guarantee doesn't mean quite as long <laughs> maybe as much. it used to. <laughs> <Don't> say that. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Use the new uh, MSL loader and didn't really notice any difference. I mean, yeah, it behaves a little differently, but I didn't notice any difference in function for this particular job. Uh, the weaknesses of the loader that we've talked about in some of those earlier episodes, uh, it just didn't come into play here because I wasn't trying to pick up bucketfuls. Um, and it, it, it worked just fine for this particular uh, project. Thanks, Chuck. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching everybody and we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.